Welcome back. Today is my birthday or whatever. So we're just out here with the girl. I love you. I love you. I literally love you. Oh my god. I love you. Back with church. We all holy ghosted up. Anointed. Do you know what I mean? Oh, shattered by the power of the Holy Ghost. For double transition, double transformation, and double blessing. You guys know the vibes. Isaiah 61 verse 7. Yes. Come through, <laughs> ladies. Come through. You know when you're trying to be helpful in the kitchen but you can't, so you're just like, you know, lingering like a ghost. Yeah, that's me right now. Anyway, I think Fadzi has told you guys about me. There's a day she came to see me at Use It and I really wasn't feeling well. And I love her for it. She came to check on me. We didn't vlog that. We didn't. Yeah. Because it was such an intimate room. Yeah, exactly. Mm. You couldn't. I couldn't. Vlogging yeah. wouldn't have. So, we're vlogging today. So, we're coming from church right now. We're just going to make lunch before we go for lunch. Yeah. You understand. So, yeah, she's going to be doing the vlogging today, the entire day. Because today I'm a princess. Today's my Okay, birthday. and I have to manage my vlog yes. too. She's going to be doing both of them. I don't know how. I don't have oh an idea. God. So the ganting is in nature. I don't eat I don't eat But sometimes I don't want to spoil it. So I don't want to spoil it. 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 I do I hope you're gonna be responsible. Beat me up for it. <laughs> so we had gone for it for a, so we called it a training or a meeting. What was it? Yeah, it was it was a thing, a business and um, networking meeting, I guess if you call it that. And there was a very cute guy. Yeah, he I was, know he was story. cute, right? And then okay, they were giving each other the eyes. And she says, ah, this guy. This guy, and I'm like, no, Fuzzy, go ahead. This guy looks cute. 
Alex, right? I think he's your person. Fambe, fambe with the program. The guy stands up and starts talking. He's smart, guys. He's a smart guy. But he starts crying. Anyways, and I was just there like... like that. That's yeah. That's we so believe that. She cried. She cried. It was sweet. It was the sweetest thing, but I also thought it was very funny because people wear the armor. Oh. She's from so that yeah, that's one experience I have of I can't get it out of my head. I can never Alright, so what I like most about Fatsy is <laughs> it's how talkative she is. She keeps you entertained. Even when your spirit is down, you know, with yeah, with Fatsy, you have to pick up whether you want or not. And I think it's um it's our relationship and understanding of God and Christianity. It's a place where you know that even though I mess up, I can go and tell her and be accountable to someone. She won't judge me because she understands, you know? She understands the way life we are living. <laughs> so yeah, and at the end of the day, we love God and we're trying to do right by God. So I like that about her. I'm still trying to figure out which memory I find very memorable. I've had many, we have gossip people. Our gossips are always awesome. With Ashley. And we had, um, I think a Zim Praise. The Zim Praise with TDJX. Jakes. I really liked that. That was an interesting um, experience. And then we live there like midnight or something. And we had to look for transport at night. And also, I think I also enjoyed, um, didn't you come stay at my place for a week or something? That was, yeah, I enjoyed getting to know her deep, because this is who she is in her space, and in my space, like, yeah. But she was short. D, 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 she had a, she had a, she had a, she had a, Okay, so my battery died somewhere during the course of the day, so we couldn't film much. But I want to share with you guys five things that I learned when I was 25. And also, before we get into that, let me show you a short clip of what Junior said or what Junior anticipated would happen to me when I was 25. Anyway, so what's the first thing that you think is going to change, Canada, Tina 25? I'm gonna get pregnant. <gasps> compliments of the new season i'm 26 now i'm older i'm a bit mature and blah 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 and blah 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 and blah blah blah, blah. i'm here to share with you guys five lessons that i learned when i was 25 let us get into it so lesson number one lesson number one for me was to love withholding nothing i surrender my soul to love i surrender my body to love i surrender my heart to love withholding nothing um when i'm talking about love i'm talking of your agape love your eros all those type of loves whether you are loving your family whether you're loving your friends whether you're loving your partner if you feel like 
this person can go all out for me. It's okay for you to go all out for them. It's okay for you to be in love. It's okay for you to feel like if this person is not around, I'm not able to be myself. Do not conform to this nonsense that is on social media that yeah, Jolo will do this to you. Hey, your friends, but you will hurt her or whatever. God did not define love to do that to you. God did not say if you fall in love, you're gonna be hurt. All of these things that are now happening, they're the works of the devil so now because we are not of this world we will not subscribe to the things that the world says are happening in our lives so please love it's i know sometimes it's hard i know sometimes it's challenging but go all out number two be intentional be intentional with everything that you do be intentional with your relationships be intentional with your job be intentional with your chores be intentional with everything that you have to do while you are on earth why because if you're not intentional about it things do not work out you can never agree with everyone and you can never agree um, with everything that everyone does so you need to be intentional about it and say you know what um, I don't agree with this, but because you're my friend, I don't agree with this, but because you're my brother, I don't agree with this, but because you're my mom, I'm going to be intentional about our relationship and I'm going to be honest with you. You did this. I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. I don't understand it, but still because you're my family, I'm going to be intentional about it and I'm still going to work towards making our relationship better. If yesterday we fought and yesterday we were on each other's necks, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and be intentional about mending whatever that made us fight so that tomorrow we are better people so be intentional about everything if you're given an opportunity in your life be intentional and also you realize that if you're intentional about these things that make you feel alive it makes your purpose fuller and it do you think that um if God was not intentional about our relationship with him he would have given us his only son he would have given us um the holy spirit it means he's so intentional about my relationship with him which basically means that as my father is so am i and the fruits of my father are also the fruits of the things that i'm supposed to do if my heavenly father is intentional about his relationship with me it basically means that i also have to be intentional with the relationships of the people that he has trusted me to be around when things are not working i have to make them work but this is not to say that force and be intentional in toxic relationship if it's a toxic relationship walk away if it's a toxic situation walk away but if it's not toxic and you feel like this person loves me be intentional about expressing how you love them back number three now be kind with your words um for me 25 was like uh so if you're not being kind with your words, it basically means to me that you are destroying. I mean, if you tell someone you are nothing compared to what I am, it basically means I am destroying the confidence that I have, that they have. I'm destroying everything that they believe they are because my words are not kind. So if you're fighting with someone, if you're in disagreement, if you're setting boundaries, if whatever is happening is not conducive for the both of you, express yourself in a way that will still make that person feel good about themselves. Because the worst part is, let's say Namanja, I fight with Namanja and I tell her very bad words. How then do I wake up tomorrow when I need to talk to her and say, hey friend, can I talk to you? After I told her crap yesterday. So being kind with your words, right? It works best for your relationship with that person whether you want that person to be in your life for a long time or whether you don't want them to be in your life for a long time number four um learn to understand the difference between your friends and your colleagues um there's a blurred line between someone who's my friend and someone who's my colleague why because i spend most of my time with my colleagues more than i spend most of my time with my friends right so you need to be able to ask god to help you to discern Koti. Who is this person? What are they in my life? What am I supposed to do for them in their life? And how am I supposed to serve them? Are they my friend? Are they my colleague? Are they going to become family? Because once you're able to do that, it protects you from a lot of hurt. It protects you from a lot of um, wasting a lot of time. It also protects your feelings from investing in things that you're not supposed to invest. But five, um... 
choose you choose yourself go all out in choosing yourself why because when you choose yourself you choose the things that make you happy you choose the things that give you peace you choose the things that make you the person that you are if you do not choose yourself you're consistently destroying the person you are you're consistently destroying the person you're supposed to be you're consistently destroying the person that god built you to be so choose yourself when you choose yourself you find that you're more happier when you choose yourself you find that you are at peace when you choose yourself you actually find and understand that um your purpose can easily be fulfilled why because you're doing the things that nourish your soul your body and spirit um for me choosing myself means choosing the things that make me happy if i feel like going bold i'll go bold because that's what makes me happy in that moment you might not be happy but as long as i'm happy that's what matters if i'm happy it means that i'm able to be kind with my words it means that i'm able to love intentionally it means that i'm able to go out for my family because i am happy if i'm not it means i'm probably going to be depressed and if i'm depressed someone else is going to be stressed because for this depressed and how can I help fuzzy and it just becomes a domino effect so what you need to do is you need to choose yourself choose the things that make you happy when you choose the things that make you happy you are at peace you are happy you are kind you can love you are joyful all of those things that the bible speaks or the bible expects us to be they come to fruition to fruition they come to life right when we choose ourselves when we decide to be happy when we decide to say you know what everything is happening in the world but i'm going to choose me what do i want everyone else is probably getting married right now but do i really need to be in a relationship at this point what makes me happy and the bonus thing is this for young girls it's okay for you not to be dating it's okay for you not to have a guy to post it's okay for you to pay your own bills. It's okay for you to buy yourself clothes. It's okay for you to buy yourself data. Do not always put yourself under pressure to say, I need a man who will buy me data. I need a man who will take me from point A to point C. And you're giving yourself pressure. It's not gonna bother. It's okay for you to be single for some months. It's okay for you to be single for some years. It's okay for you to be without a man. Do not let society do not let um social media belittle the powerhouse that you are because you do not have a man i feel like um we're gonna need to talk about this a lot more because now i'm tired and i need to sleep because tomorrow i have to go to work so thank you so so much for watching this i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i hope you enjoyed the five things six rather the six things that i learned um when i was 25 and the things that are probably gonna not probably the things that are gonna be driving me between now and dod thank you so so much for watching please do subscribe bye